Hi, I'm Susie Tyler with the Texarkana Monthly Magazine, and we're here with Nicole Briscoe, an art teacher at the Pleasant Grove High School. Welcome, Nicole. Would you tell me how you became interested in art? Even as a child, I can never remember a moment in my life where I was not creating or making. Um, even at my mom's feet, I would be down and coloring. So it's always been a part of my, my life. I've always known I was artistic. What is your favorite thing about being an art teacher? The relationships are what I cherish the most. I, I keep up with so many of my students. I mean, every year I talk to students and what they've gone on and done with their life. and. Now I'm able to see them have children and get married. This year I was able to go to two weddings. One of those weddings in which the two people that got married met in my art room. That part of it, I mean, it's very emotional actually as a teacher because it's, you, you feel that, you feel the heart of a kid and you're able to see them grow. So you almost feel like a, a parent or a, a mom or something to some degree. They feel like part of your family. So when I refer to them, I have to separate my kids because I have my children, but then there's my kids right. and that's, who I have here at the high school. What qualities encompass an excellent educator? Well, I think one that is very flexible and moldable and willing to adapt with kids. I think that you can learn every type of ideology or every type of book, a statistic, anything you can imagine in education, but the truth is you really have to be able to look at how kids learn and kids have started learning differently, even with my own children. You know, it's, it's really changed the way that I've, I've perceived um, being an educator because now I look at it more from the parent's point of view, if that, if that makes sense. It's really important for me to think not just how it's going to affect the child, but also how the parent will feel about it. And I, I definitely believe that God placed me as an educator before a mom because he's revealed so much to me in the classroom about things that I want in my children or, you know, the way that I want them to grow up. And so a lot of those things have reflected in, in me as a parent and, you know, making sure my children are kind and gentle people that are respectful. Every day when they get out of the car, I say, be good, be kind, and be helpful. That's my three words since they got out of the car in kindergarten. That's what I've said to them. What age do you think a student should be introduced to an art class? Oh, as young as they can be. I think, you know, from the beginning, I mean, that's the first way that children really communicate. I mean, if you start them younger, I think that reflects not just in their artistic skill, but their academic skill, because they learn how to problem solve from a different point of view than a student who is a non-creative student. So I think there's benefits from it all the way around. 